Um, what the chart here does in, 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 a, in a big sense is it separates out the two main distinctions in types of beer, namely ales and lagers, or the distinctions between ales and lagers are that ales uh, are typically brewed, are, are typically fermented at higher temperatures using a certain, uh, a certain type of yeast that, that can accommodate those higher temperatures. They usually ferment faster and the particular strain of yeast usually ferments from the top of the wort on down. Whereas lagers uh, usually ferment at colder temperatures and, uh, and take longer to ferment. And the strain of yeast basically is a bottom fermenting strain of yeast, ferments from the bottom of the wort on up through, through the wort until it's all fermented. It then subdivides those, those different styles into a number of different types of ales and a number of different types of lagers. Uh, it also subdivides it based on strength going horizontally and it also seems to cluster the different beers uh, into their geographic background or history or location. So we have, for example, all the pale ales together ne next to all the bitters, which are also English ales, uh, next to the Scottish ales. Um, uh, then, then we move to the darker beers. It also distinguishes it based on color. The wheat beers on the left side are typically the lightest in color onto the stouts on the right-hand side, which are the darkest in color. When we go to the lagers, similar type of arrangement. We have, we have pilsners, which are typically the lightest type of lagers onto, uh, onto a whole slew of American, of American style lagers, which is another style of beer that, that, that in the United States kind of broke away from their European traditions a number of years ago uh, into German lagers, uh, etc. Uh, okay, at the bottom there's a little cluster of your really far out beers, beers that are brewed, let's say, at ale temperatures but with lager yeast or at lager temperatures but with ale yeast sort of mixed styles as they call it, beers that are, that, that can run the gamut from barley wines, which can have 12-13% uh, alcohol, uh, down to cream ales, which are much lighter. Yeah, so here on the chart, it does give you alcohol by volume. Okay, so that's the number down here. Um, so as you can see, the, uh, some, of the, some of the highest alcohol beers, Russian Imperial Stout is 12% beer. Um, uh, barley wine, 12%, and I've seen them go higher than that. Um, the pale ale that we're going to be brewing today uh, comes in 45 to 5.5%. Our pale ale actually comes in at 5%. Or I should point you down here because we make uh, the style of pale ale that we make is very much of an American pale ale.